Welcome back to our aviation series. Today, I'm taking a step back in time to explore the remarkable Douglas DC-3, an aircraft that forever changed the course of aviation history. But before you keep watching, subscribing to my channel ensures that you won't miss any of my future videos. It only takes a second, so hit that subscribe button now, please. Douglas DC-3, introduced in the 1930s, is hailed as one of the most influential and successful aircrafts in that time. Its revolutionary design and groundbreaking capabilities set new standards for commercial aviation, shaping the way we fly even to these days. But note that the design and shape of Douglas DC-3 and Douglas DC-1 are very similar together. With its iconic, sleek, and streamlined appearance, the DC-3 embodies the epitome of elegance and functionality. Its high wing configuration, sturdy construction, and reliable Pratt and Whitney engines ensure the smooth and dependable flight experience for passengers and crew alike. Design work began in 1934 at the insistence of C.R. Smith, president of American Airlines. Smith wanted two new plates, a longer DC-2 that would carry more day passengers and another with railroad type sleeping berths to carry overnight passengers. The first DC-3 built was the Dockless Sleeper Transport, also known as Sky Sleepers by airline customers, and it was the height of luxury. 14 plush seats in four main compartments could be folded in pairs to form seven berths, while seven more folded down from the cabin ceiling. The plane could accommodate 14 overnight passengers or 28 for shorter daytime flights. The first was delivered to American Airlines in June 1936, followed two months later by a first standard 21 passenger DC-3. The DC-3's versatility was unparalleled. Its rocked design allowed it to operate in a variety of conditions and on a range of routes, from short-haul flights between neighboring cities to transcontinental journeys. This made it a favored choice for airlines around the world, contributing to its immense popularity. In November 1936, United Airlines, which had been a subsidiary of Boeing until 1934, became the second DC-3 customer. The DC-2 had proved more economical than the Model 247, and United assumed that DC-3 would continue that lead. Initial orders from American and United were soon followed by orders from more than 30 other airlines in the next two years. The DC-3 was not only comfortable and reliable, it also made air transportation profitable. America's C.R. Smith said the DC-3 was the first airplane that could make money just by hauling passengers without relying on government subsidies. As a result, by 1939, more than 90% of the nation's airline passengers were flying on DC-2s and DC-3s. The DC-3 not only transformed air travel, but also played a pivotal role during World War II. Its remarkable performance, range, and payload capacity made it a critical military transport aircraft, enabling the efficient movement of troops, supplies, and equipment on both sides of the conflict. In addition to the 455 DC-3 commercial transports built for the airlines, 10,174 were produced as C-47 military transports during World War II. For both airline and military use, the DC-3 proved to be tough, flexible, and easy to operate and maintain. Beyond its technical achievements, 
The DC-3 holds a special place in the hearts of aviation enthusiasts and history buffs. Its legacy is steeped in nostalgia, evoking memories of the golden age of aviation and the romance associated with early air travel.